up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the quick installer launcher for the PlayStation Vita, which is a pretty cool tool. I mean, if you want to pimp out your PlayStation Vita, this is a good tool to have. So now I got this information out of PSX Place. Now you can see Vita Shell, Adrenaline, and Packet GI is pretty cool easy to access now those are by default uh, I went a step further and I uh, will show you guys how to edit those tabs so I'll go ahead and leave this information in the description you can go ahead and go and read a little bit more about it also I'll go ahead and leave the github for the developer one upus so you can go ahead and download the Q installer VPK just takes a moment it's a simple fairly small VPK so then once we have our file downloaded we're going to connect our PlayStation Vita to the PC and then we're going to transfer that VPK to our PlayStation Vita or the root thanks to the flow we have that capability with Vita shell okay so we move on to the PlayStation Vita uh, we can see we had it connected with via USB. Now we're going to go ahead and install that VPK. So if you agree to the message, you know, proceed. Now you can see that we have quick launch installer. Now, right now we have the default normal from Sony, but now we're going to go ahead and launch our application. We'll just give it one moment. Now you will see install default quick launch data and then you will see like the example underneath which is pretty cool and then we have other information clear all QL data install user QL data the install user QL data will be for future releases and then you will exit the live area through there and then we're gonna press X it's gonna tell us that we need to restart It'll go ahead and do it automatically so you don't really need to restart it yourself. And you guys can see that uh, Vita Shell works and Adrenaline as well. But let's say that we want to change the third tab. Maybe edit and customize it a little bit further. So now you have the VPK. Rename it to .zip. Z as in Zebra, I as in Igloo, P as in Paul. And then it's going to give you an alert. Do you want to change the format? And then you say yes. So then we're going to extract the folder from within the qinstaller.zip it's going to be called installer it's going to be inside resources so we just drag it to our desktop that's all we need for now so we have that folder we'll see our PNGs and our XML file so I fairly use um, Vita Homebrew Browser a great deal of time, so I am going to change the package GI for Vita Homebrew Browser. So I will go into the root of the memory stick and I'm going to go to App, Vita Homebrew Browser, and I'm going to look for an image I like so that I can go ahead and convert it to the right size. So. I went to live area and I used the startup image for the Vita Homebrew browser. So I'm just going to copy that to my desktop. There we have it. So now everybody has paint. So just search for paint and then open it. We're going to go ahead and do the correct file size so that it can have a good icon on our PlayStation Vita. So now we just drag the app03 file PNG and then we look at the resize. So we select pixels and then we write it down or I just snipped it so that I can have it as a reference. What are the dimensions for it? Okay so now I'm gonna drag the image I want you can also look it up on Google or you know search for images so now I'm going to resize it as well and I'm going to resize it to the same 
pixels. Now remember to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio so it'll allow you to resize it. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you, you'll know what we're talking about. So we just make sure it matches and then we just select OK. And then the next step we're going to do is going to file, save as, PNG picture. And then you can save it on the same folder, installer, and then you should be ready to go. So now I'm going to rename the startup PNG the same as app03.png. So I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to rename the file. So there you guys have it. Now I'm going to need the name of the app or game that you want to launch. So now I'm going to open the XML file and we'll go to the app 03 PNG but we'll go to the target and then you guys will see that I deleted the package GI and I'm going to type in BHBB00001 same as the application I have in my PlayStation Vita. It's really simple guys. After we do that, we're just going to save it. And now I have my files ready. Now you can have a copy just in case of the qinstaller.zip or VPK. Now that we have the zip file and our folder ready, our installer folder, we go to resources and then we're just going to overwrite that folder that it's within there. Once we've done that, we verify that the file is in there. Then we're going to rename the qinstaller.zip to qinstaller.vpk. It's going to give us a message. We just say yes. So now we're ready to transfer to our PlayStation Vita. So we go to the root. And then you guys will see that I renamed the original one to include a one. So now we move on to the PlayStation Vita and we're going to try to install it. Let's see if it works. So we do the Q launcher installer. You guys can see nothing has changed. So we'll install it fairly quick. It shouldn't take that long. And then we launch our application. You guys will see now the icon change. So now we're going to install it. And then we're going to press OK. It's going to ask us to restart, kind of like how we did in the beginning. So we just let it be. We just give it a moment. All right, so now it should work. Let's see if it launches. All right, so quick launch. This is awesome, pretty cool, exciting. You can put whatever application you want to launch through there, which is cool. I mean, thanks to the developer, which is pretty cool. You guys can see that Vita Shell is working as well. Uh, Adrenaline. So there you have it, guys. So if you liked it, remember to hit like, subscribe, Share with your friends, comment, as always, Gamer Rebirth, out.